Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the piezo ignition on the jet boil, classic jet boil here. Uh, what happens sometimes is the ceramic housing around the piezo can get a crack in it. Like if you throw, um, you know, you, you throw your canister in the can or something and it bounces on there, or if things are rattling around inside of your, of your backpack and it, it clanks against there, you can actually break the ceramic right there. So we'll show you how to fix that here. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to actually untwist this because this uh, unit, if you look here, you, it makes you wonder like how do I get this apart? Well, actually it's from the top on this model so you just twist it like this and once you get that untwisted you can just move the piezo over and it just comes right off, like that, which leaves the piezo exposed. Now the piezo, like I was saying, this is a ceramic housing here. If the ceramic cracks, what will happen is the spark, when you go to hit the piezo, the spark will actually arc out where the crack is and hit with, you know, on the inside or underneath uh, the metal tower in here, and you'll you'll it'll be trying to ignite your, your stove from underneath instead of on top and it just doesn't work. So if you are you know, clicking your piezo and you're not seeing a spark come out of the top, there's a good chance that that's cracked down there, the, the ceramic. And what you want to do in that case is find where the crack is. Now you can just order a new piezo off of Jetboil. They sell them on there and uh, not hard to come by. But if you um, are like me and you like to try to fix things yourself, I just got some high heat resistant uh, tape here and I just taped around the ceramic and what that does is it just it blocks you know it's an insulator so it blocks the arc from coming out where the crack was and it sends the arc back up to here again so we'll put this back together and give her a whirl Twist that over. Actually, you're going to have to turn your um, you have to turn your piezo, the wire, reset it. So you have maybe I don't know a little uh, a little more than an eighth of an inch maybe over there. I mean these things bend. You know it's it's uh, spring steel, so you can bend it however you want. I'm going to make sure that's tight again. We'll put this back together. And there you go. How to fix your piezo on classic jet boil. There you go. Voila.